the moon, a desolate rocky satellite orbiting Earth. But what if it could be something more? What if we could transform this barren landscape into a thriving, habitable world? Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael. I'm an AI policy advisor to the UK government, and on this channel we explore the ethics and impacts of future technology on society. In today's video, we're diving into the bold, groundbreaking concept of terraforming the moon. From the science behind creating an atmosphere to the challenges of sustaining life, we'll explore every aspect of this incredible possibility. Can we really turn our lunar neighbour into a second home? What technologies would we need? And what obstacles must we overcome? There's only one way to find out, so strap in because this is going to be an out of this world adventure. But first, what is terraforming? Chapter 1. Terraforming Terraforming is the process of transforming a planet or moon to make it habitable for human life. This ambitious concept involves altering the environment to create Earth-like conditions, including generating a breathable atmosphere, regulating temperatures, and ensuring the availability of water and essential resources. The term combines terra, meaning Earth, and forming, indicating the creation of something new. The idea of terraforming extends beyond science fiction, proposing practical solutions for future space colonization. For example, Creating an atmosphere might involve releasing greenhouse gases to trap heat and generate warmth, while water could be sourced from ice deposits or chemical reactions. The goal is to establish a stable, self-sustaining environment where humans can live, work and thrive without relying on constant support from Earth. Terraforming presents immense scientific, technological and ethical challenges, but it also represents a bold step towards expanding humanity's presence in the universe. Chapter 2. Why the Moon? But why would we consider terraforming the Moon? Well, the Moon is Earth's closest celestial neighbour, making it an ideal candidate for our first attempt at off-world habitation. Its proximity, just about 384,400 kilometres away, allows for relatively easy transportation of materials and people, significantly reducing the logistical challenges compared to more distant planets like Mars. The Moon's lower gravity, about one-sixth of Earth's, offers unique advantages for certain industries and scientific research, such as low-gravity manufacturing and space tourism. Additionally, the Moon's surface is rich in resources like water ice, metals and minerals, which can be utilised for construction, life support and fuel. Establishing a human presence on the Moon could serve as a crucial stepping stone for deeper space exploration. It provides a platform for testing and developing technologies needed for long-term space missions, ultimately paving the way for future endeavours to Mars and beyond. Terraforming the Moon embodies a practical and strategic approach to expanding humanity's frontier in space. Chapter 3. How would we do it? Terraforming the Moon would be a monumental task, involving a series of complex and interrelated steps to make the lunar environment habitable for humans. Here's how we might approach it. Number 1. Creating an atmosphere. The first step would be generating an atmosphere. This could involve releasing gases like oxygen and nitrogen from lunar rocks and soil through chemical processes, or by importing these gases from Earth or other celestial bodies. To maintain this atmosphere, we might need to deploy magnetic shields to protect against solar winds that could strip it away, given the fact the Moon lacks a natural magnetic field. 2. Regulating temperature The Moon experiences extreme temperature variations. To address this, we could create large domes or underground habitats that provide controlled environments. Another approach might involve spreading a layer of dark material across the lunar surface to absorb more sunlight, helping to moderate temperatures. 3 water extraction and utilisation. Water is essential for life. Recent discoveries of ice in the Moon's polar regions are promising. We could use robotic mining techniques to extract this ice and then process it into liquid water, providing drinking water, irrigation for plants and hydrogen for fuel. 4. Developing infrastructure. Building infrastructure is crucial. This includes habitats, life support systems and facilities for food production. Using lunar materials, we could construct buildings and roads, minimising the need to transport heavy materials from Earth. 5. Sustainable ecosystems Creating a self-sustaining ecosystem would involve introducing hardy plant species capable of growing in low-gravity conditions. 
These plants could generate oxygen and help establish a food chain, supporting human life. While these steps outline a possible path to terraforming the moon, the financial, technical, and ethical considerations slash challenges are immense. However, with advancements in space exploration and technology, the dream of transforming our lunar neighbor into a habitable world could one day become a reality. Chapter four, ethical issues. Terraforming the moon presents a range of ethical and practical considerations that must be carefully evaluated. Ethically altering the moon's natural state raises significant questions. The moon has cultural, historical, and scientific importance, and transforming it could impact these values. For instance, the moon has been a symbol in human cultures for millennia, possibly more, and its alteration could disrupt cultural heritage. Additionally, the pristine nature of the lunar environment offers unique scientific insights into the early solar system, which could be lost if terraforming proceeds. Practically, the immense cost and resource requirements are also daunting. Terraforming the moon would necessitate unprecedented financial investment and international cooperation. The technological challenges are equally significant, requiring advancements in life support, habitat construction, and sustainable ecosystems that are currently beyond our reach. There are also concerns about the long-term sustainability of a terraformed moon. Maintaining an artificial atmosphere and stable ecosystems in an environment with no magnetic field and low gravity poses ongoing risks. Additionally, there is the potential for unforeseen consequences, such as ecological imbalances or impacts on Earth's tides and climate. Balancing these ethical and practical considerations is crucial as humanity contemplates the possibility of transforming the moon. It requires a multidisciplinary approach involving scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and the global community to ensure responsible and thoughtful decision making. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel.